Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer Selenium interview question 90. That is, what is the limit for the maximum number of scenarios that can be written inside a single feature file? Let me answer this question for you. So what is the limit for the maximum number of scenarios that can be included in the feature file? There's no particular limit, guys. But uh, we have to think uh, in a more proper way, like uh, you see, maintaining the feature file or reading the feature file should not become difficult for us. OK, that's the main agenda. So if you go through the articles online and all, they generally say that uh, maximum it should not reach 10, uh, more than 10 scenarios. OK, or someone says that, uh, OK, it should be up to three to five scenarios only. OK, so it, it may not be a specific number, guys. OK, it can uh, it should not be more than 10 we can say to some point of okay because in general average a scenario will contain minimum five steps let's assume that 50 lines is good okay 50 lines is good and uh, if you write more than 50 lines what will happen uh, there will be a problem guys okay though it's not a strict rule to have exactly nor uh, like 10 and you should not have more than 10 so some scenarios uh, some feature files may have 12 also there's no restriction Okay, some feature files may have 12 also. There's no problem. But on an average, it should be 10 scenarios, guys, maximum of 10 scenarios. On an average, if a particular scenario contains five to six steps, right? So 10 scenarios is fine. Okay. And uh, if you're getting more scenarios into the same feature file, right? Uh, you know, right? What happens? The feature file will become very lengthy and uh, and you have to scroll down a lot to find the required uh, scenario in that particular feature file. You have to put a lot of efforts. That's one problem. Uh, because of which readability will get disturbed, right? You have to find the required scenario will take a lot of time. And also, write implementing that scenarios, okay? In the step definition files also will become difficult, guys, because you have to make sure, because for everything you have to scroll, okay? For everything you have to scroll and, you know, find the required method for that particular step and all. The maintenance of that particular thing will also become difficult. That's the only reason, guys, okay? So we cannot give a particular answer for this, but we can say that there's no particular strict rule, but uh, we have to create the scenarios in a particular feature file to its extent. That means it should not become difficult for the user to scroll while reading the scenarios in the feature file or while writing the scripts for this uh, uh, code for this uh, steps in the feature file. It should not be, be uh, become difficult for the user to maintain the code, okay? Because a lot of methods need to be created in step definition files. If there are a lot of steps in a single feature file, you see the uh, the bigger uh, the step definition file methods will become. Okay, the the bigger the count, the step definition file methods will become, and it will become difficult for us to maintain it. Simple answer say is, answer here is depends on project to project, guys. Okay, if someone asks you about the limit for the maximum number of scenarios that can be included in the feature file, it depends on project to project. Where some scenarios will be complex, guys. There, in that case of complexity, if they're having 10 steps, you can have only five, five scenarios on an average, right? Uh, we should not go beyond 50 lines that looks, you know, right? You have to scroll a lot and uh, maintenance of the those steps as per the implementation will become difficult. So we cannot have a specific number here. Some, some projects, scenarios are very simple. 10 scenarios are fine. Some projects, scenarios are very complex. We cannot say. Uh, three scenarios may be fine in some cases, okay? We cannot uh, go beyond three scenarios because with three scenarios only, very lengthy scenarios are there, okay? A lot of steps. So we cannot have more than three. It depends, guys, three, two, ten, something like that, okay? Depends on the complexity of project. Not a strict rule, though. Only thing we have to think about that is if the feature file becomes lengthy because of so many number of scenarios, having so many number of steps, that will make the readability or finding the scenario in that particular feature file difficult and... Uh, Obviously, when the feature file becomes lengthy, the implementation of the code for the each and every step in the feature file in the step definition files, that maintenance part also will become difficult. Okay. So in that cases, when you feel that, okay, we cannot give a particular length, I mean to say, right? Already that is clear. Okay. There's no particular rule. Some, some projects it is 10, some projects it is 3, some projects it is 5, depending on the complexity of the project is the answer. But it is recommended if you feel that your feature file is becoming lengthy because of uh, scenarios having good number of lines or because of having more number of scenarios, whatever the reason may be, you have to divide that scenarios into 
specific feature files. Okay, you have to create some, somehow you have to ideate and create, separate, categorize that feature file into multiple feature files having their own steps, scenarios and steps. Okay, to better organize them and to for better maintenance and for better finding the scenarios in the feature files, there's a better approach guys, okay? So hope guys, you got the answer, okay? Uh, if you search through the entire day, you'll not get a particular answer. Someone will say three, someone will say five, someone will say 10. Okay, it all depends on project to project and it all depends on the length of the feature file, okay? Simply length of the feature file and that length of the feature file is dependent on the complexity of the scenarios that you are writing. Some scenarios may require you to write more steps. Some scenarios may require you to write less steps. Okay, if less steps means more scenarios will come. If uh, more steps means less scenarios will come, you have to decide by yourself. There's no particular count, but the feature file should not become lengthy. And if it is a possibility where, uh, if you feel that it's going out of, uh, you know, write a lot of lengthy documentation, you can feel that, right? In that case, divide that feature file into multiple feature files. That is an ideal solution, okay? Just give this kind of answers in the interviews, guys, if you get, get this kind of interviews. You have to give it clearly, okay? Don't say three, five, ten, okay? So give your way, okay? So you should think and give, okay? So anyone can say that, okay? So feature file should not become lengthy. That's the main intention. So depending on the complexity of the project, there may be three scenarios in a feature file or five scenarios in a uh, file and 10 scenarios, okay? So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. That's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.